Hey gang, it's Seraphim, and today, I got some announcements for you all. Now, these things are going to be crucial later on for the channel, including one that is the definite highlight for this video. Stuff like my schedule, upcoming videos, channel changes, and more. I'm going to say this right now though, this will be a bit brief, so I'll try to cram as much information as possible without dragging it on for too long. So, here we go. Number 1. Some people may not know this, but recently I've been going back to school in person, and I don't have that much time working on videos because of it. Keyword in person. See, before this channel blew up, I've had both online learning and home learning, which is one where you get a teacher from school to your home and they monitor you, and the other where you do all your work on a school laptop. You might be familiar with the latter. The thing about each of them is that once my session was over, I went straight to my own laptop and started to work on my personal stuff, like animations, which gave me a head start in making them. However, two days after my birthday, yes, I'm not joking when I say I went back after the best time of my life, my parents said that it's time for me to go back to actual school, which I did because I didn't have any other choice, and it was fine, I guess. I mean, I didn't do anything except sit and fall asleep, so. To me, it was a bit pointless. But wait, there's more! In addition to letting me go back to school, my parents also installed a time limit in which you can only use the personal laptop for two hours because of homework. Right! So, excuse me if I don't upload as much either on as I used to. It's just my school. Number two! The Perfect Apocalypse fandom is turning out a bit sluggish than I thought, mostly because the actors forgot to record their lines, and the fact that Eternal left the project. Unfortunately, I guess all that would be on me. Turns out, apparently, you need to put a deadline on your crew to make sure everything gets done fast. Or something like that. And since I couldn't find anything on how to do one in the first place, instead of finding some real-time fandoms and a badly made video on how to make a comic dub, it's hard to do something when you have no idea what that something is. Especially when you're talking about recording something. Fortunately, Ribs, the voice actor for Coco, actually gave me insight on how this thing all works, so thanks a bunch, Rib. Now, the fandom is currently in production, and I plan on releasing it sometime in April or May, so be sure to look out for it when that comes out. Number 3. You all might notice that I haven't put out a reaction video in a while. And some of you might ask, where are the videos that made you want to start YouTube in the first place? Well, it's not that surprising actually. But before we talk about that, let me tell you why this is such a big problem. Unlike most channels like Dwayne and Jazz, I react to some offbeat videos than more mainstream ones. For example, I would react to the theorist one week, then it would be SMG4 the next, and so on, and so on, and so on. But the thing about these channels though, is that they all upload on the weekends, which is usually when I upload my videos at the same time. And besides, I keep a tight schedule on them, and sometimes when I react to them over and over again, these things get repetitive, with the exception of the Origami King trailer and the FNAF SM featuring Scott and Funko. So basically, I'm only allowed to react to videos released on the weekends, and not videos uploaded on the weekdays. And I just can't watch them anymore because there are more blood than ever, and that's where it all falls apart. Now do you see where I'm going with all this? I mean, channels like Vapor the Gamer and Silver Ployed CLE have content reacting to FNAF and SMG4 stuff and never really changing their formula. Don't get me wrong, I love their videos, but it's just time watching them react to the same stuff over and over again. So the reason I slowed down making them is that I'm trying to find some new videos for me to watch instead of the same boring repetitive videos I have to watch because hey they upload a new video so it's time for me to react to that. However, I have been subscribed to a lot more YouTube channels lately which means a lot more videos for me to watch so I may come back to those later. And by the way, I do mean a lot of videos. So, yeah, be prepared for those. Number four, I got a Tumblr account. It's in an alternative to Reddit if you don't know. Now, some of you know that I've been inactive recently on the website, wondering where I went. Well, the thing is, Reddit's just too dark for me. No, not the dark mode. I meant the content on the website. Jeez. I honestly didn't like all the edgy stuff on the site, especially encountering a shipping war on a specific subreddit that I won't get too much details into because I might get attacked. And it's not just that too. Some subreddits are filled with just serious ranting instead of the usual fan art, 
the memes are getting way too political and dark for me, even though they advertise it to be very funny and full of Gen Z humor. And the fact that my name is not Seraphim, but Makono. Look, the name came from the Mackle Shark. I do not know where the rest of that username came from, it just popped out of my head. Anyways, on my Tumblr, you can expect the usual on my Twitter and Reddit, where I post memes, art, photos, and whatever people post on the internet nowadays. But there is a small chance that I'll post some exclusive stuff and sneak peeks on the website, so be sure to follow me at Starfire Angel. And finally, the most important one of them all, number 5, my OC. I changed it again. Aren't you surprised? Alright, let me address the elephant in the room. This will see very confusing. I mean, just by looking at it, you can probably see a lot of things wrong with this thing. Like, is this supposed to be the long lost son of King or just like Flick or heck, a demon angel thingy? I don't know. Who am I the one to judge? So, I decided to redraw him. But into what? I mean, I could try Alien, but that would require playing out his whole entire race. Maybe Fox? That would be cool, but that would make me look like a furry, and that bothers me. And I don't want him to look like a Gary Stu because that will look weird. And again, that bothers me. But then, it hit me. I quickly ran over to Katara, or the masked cat as she's called that nowadays, draw me the new version of the character. And it looked amazing. I did all the coloring. Oh, and if you're wondering what that character looks like, here it is! So this new character is now a Dutch Angel Dragon Prodren hybrid, still having the same jacket and sword, but his wings are a different color, taking away those rainbow wings the old one used to have. And yes, I did say Dutch Angel Dragon slash Prodren hybrid. Plus, I know I said being a furry bothers me, but these kinds of things are so interesting. I mean, come on, they're so cute and lovable. Plus, they make a really good protagonist. And that's all of them, my friends. Now, I think these updates will come with many new things full of pain and bliss. So be sure to follow these updates as I upload new videos. But for now, though, I think I'm done here for today. However, if you want to see more of my content, then please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below, and like this video. Right, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone!